Hello, and welcome to this video. My name is Michelle Arbogast. I'm a senior environmental scientist at Eastern Research Group, and I work as a contractor with ATSDR. Today, I'll give you an introduction to the Public Health Assessment Site Tool, or FAST. This tool was developed by the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, or ATSDR. This video gives you a brief overview of the tool. Additional videos provide a more detailed look at how FAST is used. To start, let's answer the question, what is FAST? FAST is a multi-purpose tool. It's designed for health assessors to use when performing the public health assessment process. FAST makes it easier for health assessors to screen environmental contaminants, calculate exposure doses and exposure concentrations, access up-to-date CV and health guidelines data, estimate health risks, and generate tables to use in reports. So why should health assessors use FAST? ATSDR created FAST to promote efficiency and consistency in the public health assessment or PHA process. FAST makes it easier to screen environmental contaminants and estimate health risks. By using FAST, you can ensure that you are using appropriate calculations and up-to-date standards. ATSDR has also developed a few FAST-related tools, such as the shower model, the EPC tool, and the health effects tool. Let's take a look at how the ATSDR tools work together. The process of using FAST begins with inputting data. This could be chemical concentrations in soil, water, food, air, or soil gas. If the data are from a household water source, the health assessor would use the shower model first and then input results from this tool into FAST. For other discrete data, health assessors can use the exposure point concentration or EPC tool. Assessors have a choice for how to incorporate the EPC tool into their workflows. One option is to enter maximum concentrations into FAST first to screen contaminants, and then use the EPC tool for only those contaminants that require further analysis. Once we calculate the EPCs in the EPC tool, we can import them back into FAST. We can then use FAST to calculate hazard quotients and cancer risks for those contaminants that required further analysis. Another possible workflow would be starting with the EPC tool to determine maximum concentrations and EPCs for all of the data without doing any initial screening in FAST, then importing that data into FAST for both screening and further analysis. This method may take a little longer, but has the advantage of only requiring the use of each program once. FAST produces outputs such as doses, adjusted air concentrations, hazard quotients, and cancer risk. The Health Effects tool, which is not a separate program but is actually part of FAST, generates health effects charts using the site-specific doses and adjusted air concentrations generated in FAST. There are separate training videos on how to use each of these FAST-related tools. Because this training video's focus is FAST, let's take a look at the FAST homepage. You will see the homepage when you first log into FAST. This is the FAST homepage. The homepage displays the FAST logo and provides a brief introduction to its features. This page also has a link to ATSDR's rules of behavior and buttons on how to use the tool, new features, and contaminant updates. The How to Use FAST button will download the user guide which we'll discuss in a moment. The New Features button will download a summary of FAST updates since its inception in April 2017. The Contaminant Updates button will download a spreadsheet of individual contaminant updates and is a good way to check for recent changes to FAST like new minimal risk levels or MRLs. Tabs for FAST modules appear on the sides of the screen. On the left side, these buttons include Site Information and Data, CV screen, and exposure calculator. On the right, you'll see my saved results, CVs and health guidelines, and resources. The navigation in FAST is designed to help you move between modules and subpages. Please note, you should always use the FAST navigation system 
rather than the browser's back button when navigating through FAST. We can access each module by navigating to and selecting each module tab. The first module is called Site Information and Data. This is where you enter site information and import data sets using a standard FAST template. When this tab is selected, you can access links for site information and site data. This module is provided as a convenient place to store your site data, but you can just as conveniently store this information on your computer. Do not store personally identifiable information or PII in FAST. The next module is the comparison value or CV screen. This is where you screen contaminant concentrations against ATSDR's most current comparison values. You can also add non-ATSDR screening values and compare contaminant concentrations against them. When this tab is selected, you can access links for screening water, soil sediment, air, and soil vapor intrusion. The next module is the exposure calculator. This module calculates exposure doses or adjusted air concentrations, hazard quotients, and cancer risks based on your exposure point concentrations and exposure parameters for various pathways. You can also calculate a quick summary for some of these pathways using default exposure assumptions. This module generates detailed results and input parameters tables and should be used when doing site work. When this tab is selected, you can access links for water, including drinking water ingestion and surface water ingestion and dermal contact, soil sediment ingestion and dermal contact, air inhalation, food ingestion, and shower model inhalation, ingestion, and dermal contact. The next module is My Saved Results. This is where you access your saved scenarios and data imports. FAST stores individual user saved data, which can only be viewed by that user. However, you are not required to store your scenarios and site data here. When this tab is selected, you can access links for saved scenario and saved import. The next module is CVs and Health Guidelines. This is the home of the dynamic database. You can access ATSDR's most current comparison values and health guidelines. You can look up information for a specific contaminant or view the CV and Health Guidelines tables. Selecting this link will take you directly to the CVs and Health Guidelines page. The final module is Resources. This is where you can find key resources and tools for the public health assessment process. The Resources section provides access to important documents, such as FAST and contaminant-specific guidance and training videos. Examples include ATSDR's Exposure Dose Guidance Documents, or EDGs, and other guidance about the public health assessment process. Users should access the resources section when they need more information about FAST, are looking for more resources and tools, want to access training, want guidance on the health assessment process, are seeking more information about specific contaminants, or want to access the ADS newsletters. To access these resources, select the Resources tab on the home page it will take you directly to the resources page. Let's do that now. These resources are updated as needed. Be sure to check for the latest versions. There is a section of FAST specific resources, including the FAST user guide and FAQs. These resources go into much more detail than this training can. If you have questions about using FAST, the user guide and the FAQs should be the first places you look for answers. Now we will look briefly at the FAST user guide. You can access it by selecting the FAST user guide link. It will download a file onto your computer. This is the FAST user guide. It contains step-by-step -step directions, explanatory notes, and tips for effectively using FAST. The sections are organized by module with screenshots. The user guide is not meant to be read from cover to cover. It is purposely repetitive to walk through all the steps from start to finish for each module. It begins with an introduction, general fast features, and how to get started. There are sections on entering your site information and importing your data and conducting a CV screen. 
The exposure calculator is divided into several subsections, one for each exposure pathway. These include drinking water ingestion, surface water ingestion and dermal contact, soil sediment ingestion and dermal contact, air inhalation, food ingestion, and shower model inhalation and dermal with FAST ingestion. Let's go back to the FAST website. Also available in the resources section are QC test run materials. These can be used to test that FAST is correctly calculating doses, hazard quotients, and cancer risks. There are also shower model guidance and resources. And there are contaminant specific resources that provide helpful information about arsenic, chromium, dioxins, PFAS, TCE, and PAHs. There is a selection of health assessment resources, including the EDGs, links to ATSDR's tox profiles and toxic substances portal, vapor intrusion resources, PHA training, FAGM, and EPC guidance. Let's go back to the home page by selecting the Home tab. Next, let's take a look at the navigation of the FAST website. For the first four modules, if you select a tab, links for that module become available. When you select one of those links, that subpage will come up. For example, I can select CV screen and water so that we navigate to the water CV screen module. On every subpage, you can access navigation at the top to go back to the home page or to another module in FAST. You can change modules by selecting a different tab. In this case, we will select Exposure Calculator, and we will select the Soil Sediment sub-tab. You can click the up arrow to hide the sub-tab if you want. If you have entered information before switching tabs, you will be prompted to save before moving to the next module. Let's say we have entered arsenic into the contaminant box and selected arsenic as the contaminant. Then let's say we select the Home tab without saving this entry. A pop-up warning message will appear. It says, Leave Site. Changes you made may not be saved. Then there are two buttons, Leave and Cancel. If you select Leave, any unsaved data will be lost as you move to a different module. If you select Cancel or Stay, depending on your browser, the message will close and you can save your data. Finally, let's talk about saving and retrieving data. You can access saved scenarios and saved imports from the My Saved Results tab on the home page. You can also access these through the navigation tabs once you are inside FAST. You can retrieve saved scenarios from the My Saved Results Saved Scenarios section Scenarios are grouped by site. Select the pencil icon to edit the scenario name. Select the note icon to add a note to your scenario. If you would like to delete the scenario, select the trash icon. You can also select the site name to open and edit the site information. Select the scenario you wish to retrieve by clicking on the scenario name. When health guidelines, comparison values, contaminant properties, or input parameters change in FAST after you have saved a scenario, a notice of changes window will pop up when you open your saved scenario. Here is an example of a notification for a food saved scenario. The notification indicates the contaminants affected and the reason or reasons for the notice of changes. You can select the Changes in FAST link to download the What's New document to learn more. Selecting the Recalculate button will recalculate your results using the new data in FAST. You will then have the option to override your original scenario or save your results as a new scenario. Selecting the Cancel button will close the pop-up window and open your original results without using the new data to recalculate your results. After you retrieve a saved scenario, the scenario name and site name are displayed on the screen so that you know which saved scenario you have open. 
Next, let's look at saved imports. After you save your data in FAST, you can retrieve it from the My Saved Results Saved Imports page. You can select the site name link to open and edit the site information. Select the data set name link to retrieve your site data. It will open in the Site Information and Data Site Data page and select Download to CSV to download the saved and validated data as a CSV file. We have reached the end of this video. Separate video trainings go over more detail about how to use FAST for specific tasks. Help is available when you need it. You can consult the user guide and FAQs for more information. You can also send an email to fast at cdc.gov. Thank you for viewing this video. For more information, contact NCEH ATSDR at 1-800-CDC-INFO or TTY at 1-888-232-6348. You can visit us at www.atsdr.cdc.gov or www.cdc.gov. Follow us on X at CDC Environment. The findings and conclusions in this presentation have not been formally disseminated by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, and should not be construed to represent any agency determination or policy.